Welcome back. Uh, I've seen a lot of talk lately about people having problems with their flasher relays, uh, installing aftermarket LED turn signals and taillights and things like that, and trying to make everything work correctly. Uh, there's, I don't know, probably 25 different flasher relays that you can buy that will all probably work. Uh, some of them you may have to add resistors, other bits and pieces, um, but I just want to show the one that I used on both bikes. It's from 12 O'Clock Labs. If you go to their website and you just literally pick the one that is on the main page for the OEM option, this is the original OEM Honda Navi flasher. You can distinguish it by it saying Mitsuba. If you look at the bottom right, it says uh, LED, four bulbs, has some little lighting information on it. So clearly that is for the lights. This is the little piece that replaced it. It literally just sits right here in this little square area next to the main relay for the bike. All I did was remove the old one, put the new one in. This does come with another connector in case you've got a different bike or a different harness or something with some extra little wire ends and some zip ties, uh, but all I did was remove the old one and put the new one in. My bike does have the AC to DC 12 volt conversion. As you can see here, I do have the little add a fuse there, uh, but turn the key on. I've got an LED headlight in this bike, but turn signals all work as they should. It's kind of hard to see in here with the bright light, but the Indicator works, high beam works. I did put an LED 194 bulb in here, and in here I just switched a blue and white wire and a green and yellow wire underneath. Uh, you literally just swap those and everything works as it should. But passenger side or the uh, right side of the bike. And I have the same setup on this bike. This one has an HID projector headlight, uh, and these turn signals are just temporary right now. But again, they work just the same. And turn this one back on, so you can see turn signal on that bike. This one is not mounted yet, it is just sitting there. I do have a little temporary bracket mocked up, but I need to drill some holes in it. So super duper simple if you just get the flasher relay from 12 o'clock labs. They did not pay me to make this. They did not give me a discount. I just purchased these on my own. I just happen to really like them uh, and that's why I use this brand. So once again, blinky blinky front and rear on both bikes. Super easy. You don't have to add any inline resistors, nothing else. So people are telling you, you got to add this and that and a bunch of different stuff in line. Uh, you don't have to if you just get the right flasher relay. So that's where we're at on these bikes. I still have a bunch more parts to install on this one. I got all of the uh, front fender pieces, got all the plastic pieces, uh, but I also ordered a stainless hardware kit online to replace all of the original bolts. So this bike is just sitting here with no hardware in it anywhere, literally just kind of snapped together. So hopefully tomorrow I'm gonna to get to replacing that hot lap exhaust with my other hot lap exhaust. I'm gonna to put together a little pile of parts for another local guy that needs some stuff. Hopefully I will have time for that tomorrow. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you uh, have questions about or what else you're unsure of or how you wanna modify your Navi. So thanks for watching, goodbye.